Hey, welcome back to Giving Chances Farms. I'm just out here in the morning giving the cattle another round bale. Go find where magic usually scratches and throws dirt on them. And that's where we're going to put the bale. So we've already fed everyone else. Open the chicken door, let the chickens out. Well, I gotta feed them their scratch green, but I'll get to that when I get back in the barn. Throw it out to in their little run so they can scratch through the mulch and um, bedding from the goat stall that we throw out there. Look how beautiful the sky looks. The sun's about to come up. It's kind of cold today. It's only, I think, reading out here like 32 degrees Fahrenheit. So, yesterday was, I think, high in the 50s, but not quite sure what it's supposed to feel like today. coming out here having to uh, give the cows some water because that means we got to transport home. I think it's a hundred foot of hose from where the hydrant is to get to their tank. And then <clears throat> like last year that's what we did and then we took it back into the garage where the because um, we keep the bathroom in there heated so we just stick it in the shower that way it doesn't um, get frozen or we have <clears throat> excuse me we also have a uh, other method that we use and we take the hose that's round up or wound up on the um oh great good thing it's cold because he just threw his knife in the poop okay but anyways it's wound up on a reel and um, try to do this one handed here and we just use the air compressor and blow the remaining water out of that and then just leave that hose outside so either way Sometimes when it gets cold out, trying to coil up the, the hose is a little harder because once it gets the coldness, then um, it gets, the hose itself gets cold and doesn't want to wind up like it did before when we were using it. You guys want to see the cows? while I'm uh, bouncing around. Tony's just out here cleaning up some of these smaller logs. See if there's any of them that he could use to turn. And then on the back. Okay. Some of it will be turned into firewood. Like I said, he'll use some of it to uh, possibly turn. I know one of our subscribers mentioned something about maybe possibly doing some um, rolling pins. So that might be an idea.
brought the chicken some uh, grass that I pulled and looks like the only one that's out here is Miss Penguin. The rest of them must got too cold. Last of the load. The last big of the stump. And then I just gotta come back and finish this one. And one, two, three more up here in the front. And then all the trees will be cut down. Tony's just painting the ends of the, the wood that way it'll kind of help with that not splitting <clears throat> so when it's ready to uh, be put on the lathe to turn it should be pretty decent to yeah so basically the theory behind it is the paint will slow it down because that fresh cut on there gives too much surface area for the water to run out so <clears throat> basically like on this we just coat both end grains and then I'll be able to set it on the shelf and we'll rotate it every so often um, some guys rotate it about every other week um, and then there's a formula you can use to talk about how long it takes per uh, section of board to be able to dry out. Um, a lot of guys will leave this stuff for six months to a year. So basically, I'm only doing a small batch just as a test batch. And we'll prep this on a shelf uh, inside the garage and see... Um, this one here is about just over 11 inches and our, our lathe will accept a 12 inch piece so for right now I'm gonna save it but we'll see I thought about making Brittany a bowl out of that piece um, which as of right now is above my capabilities on the lathe I've never tried a bowl but my brother has so um, if I can get it dry I figure I'll have a year under my belt of turning before I get to that piece right there so I can make a bowl out of it. And then uh, there's two pieces here, that one there, and then this one that I'm getting ready to paint. That, uh, Brittany wanted me to make like a platter out of it that she found online. 
So basically what we would do is we will actually carve this out. It won't go on the lathe, but I'll carve this center section out. And then that uh, will remove the bark off the outside. And that will uh, make a platter, basically. So I cut one in half. That way I have two chances to try it. So I'll probably find some carving tools to be able to do this with. I know they do like electric carving tools or worst case I could even use a Dremel for that too. But uh, I'm sure I can find something to do with here to let this stuff dry out anyway. So you're looking on YouTube. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> Can't find the answer, go to YouTube, right? <laughs> Somebody's probably done it. That's how I figured this part of it out as far as the drying of the wood. Alright, well, we've had a pretty productive day. We got our shelving units that we uh, picked up off of Facebook Marketplace. Uh, a guy had bought a house and those were in the garage. He needed them out of his way to be able to get his motorcycle into the garage. So uh, we got them for free. We just had to go get them. So Brady's been wanting a uh, greenhouse. So she decided that those shelves would work out pretty nice on the inside of a greenhouse. That way she can do her seed starts and those kind of things in the greenhouse. So uh, we have shelves now. I guess that means I gotta start planting the rest of the greenhouse. That way she can start putting them to use. So it is in the plans. It's just right now it's a financial problem. Basically just gotta wait put it in the budget so that way we can get the greenhouse once we can afford it so hope everybody liked the videos today don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel tell all your friends to subscribe to us as well that way we can uh, get more subscribers we're trying to shoot for that thousand subscriber mark right now that's our next big accomplishment once we do that, then we'll be able to uh, up our production level for the um, YouTube lives. Because once you get a thousand subscribers, you can actually do the mobile lives, and then that kind of eliminates the software issue we've been having lately. So, hope everybody enjoys the video, and we'll see you on the next one.